Kia ora koutou katoa, fiery fuzz, but bipartisan hugs and a lot of confrontation in tonight's leaders' debate. Chris Hipkins explicitly ruled out working with Winston Peters, while Christopher Luxon danced around whether he thinks the New Zealand first leader is good or bad. The two Chris's clashed over hard issues hitting all New Zealanders. Who is going to ease the pain for people quicker? The number one thing you do in a cost of living crisis is focus on getting inflation back down again. Things like cutting the cost of early childhood education, or taking away prescription fees, payments to dead making people. public transport cheaper, particularly for our young New Zealanders. There has been an 80% increase in government spending, and yet we haven't seen an 80% improvement in health, education, roads, infrastructure, anything in this country. Do you think we are a racist country, Chris Hipkins? I don't think we're a racist country, but I think some of our politicians are certainly playing the race card in this election. Is one of them in this room? You said that, is one of them in this room? Well, he certainly wants to work with people who are. There's 2,000 nurses and midwives graduating every year. For everyone we train, we sort of lose one. What I'm going to do is say, if you commit your services to the New Zealand uh, medical system for five years and bond yourself to the New Zealand system, I'll take $22,500 off your student loan. One of the top goals of our health system has to be to keep people out of hospital in the first place. By doing things like making prescriptions free, we're actually giving people the medication they need so they don't end up in hospital. The number of people ending up in our EDs for basic stuff because they're not getting their medications because they can't afford the $5 fee at the pharmacy is alarming. We can do something about that. National wants to put that $5 fee back on. There are over 7,000 vape stores in New Zealand. The government policy today is 300 metres away from a school. What its proposal is is actually to have 600 stores and, and limit the distribution points. I think that's a good idea. I think it actually makes sense. Let's try those settings and see how they work. If okay. they don't work after 18 months, then I'm actually even open to looking at prescription only and making even, going even further. We've got one of the fastest uptakes of hybrid and electric vehicles in the world because of the clean car discount. Christopher wants to take that away. That's actually going to increase New Zealand's greenhouse gas emissions. Why on earth would you pay $140 million to an Australian steel company making $2.1 billion worth of profit? Because it cuts 1% of our emissions. Yes, and, and yes, but they can do that themselves. A question about Winston Peters, and it has to be yes or no. Is he good or bad for this country, Chris Hipkins? Bad. That's a decision for the voters of New Zealand. Yes or no? Is he good or bad? I don't know him, Paddy. I don't know him well. Everybody knows him. No. Where's the Peters? <laughs> Chris Luxon, who would make a better foreign affairs minister, Judith Collins or Winston Peters? <laughs> Haven't even thought about it. It's quick fire. Which one? Well, I'll Think tell you, it. Judith it's Collins. It's not a great endorsement I, of Judith. Judith. Well, I, <laughs> And here to shed his thoughts on this is former United Future leader Peter Dunn. Peter, welcome back. I want to ask, we did see a very different debate tonight, quite different to the first, but how do you compare it? Well, it was different to the first, I mean, but Hipkins showed a lot more energy, but it was energy bordering on desperation. He had to after the first debate. He had to deliver a knockout blow tonight. He didn't do that. Luxon, on the other hand, uh, had to stay unrattled. He had to look prime ministerial and just trot out his usual lines. He did that, but again, he didn't score heavily against Hipkins. So both could feel reasonably happy with their performances, but I don't think either would say they were the outright winner. Wow, that is very interesting, Peter. I did see a lot of fire and feistiness with Hipkins in his uh, retorts or his rebuttals. Um, but some of the experts there clearly seeing a, a different Chris Hipkins tonight, leading them to wonder where he was two months ago. Do you think it's enough uh, in order for Labour to get ahead or is it too little too late? Well, it's certainly a different Hipkins, far more enthusiasm and passion, but I think it is bordering on too little too late. We've got a special early voting opening on Monday. Uh, we've got just over two weeks to the election. This is the sort of performance we should have been seeing all along from him. Uh, tonight, I think uh, he, he did what he had to because he has no other ammunition left, if you like, but he didn't strike a big hit on Luxon. Uh, so, you know, he, he's had a go, but it hasn't quite succeeded. A few sparks on issues like racism, cost of living and co-governance, Peter. Who won those arguments? Well, I think a bit of both. I think that um, Hipkins probably overplayed his hand with the quote from the New Zealand First candidate. On the other hand, uh, Luxon looked a bit all at sea dealing with how he'd worked with New Zealand First and how he'll deal with these sorts of situations. So I don't think either was particularly convincing on those subjects.
Bipartisan came up quite a bit tonight. Do you agree with Luxon that it's a good sign both leaders are willing to align their vision on certain issues? I do. But the challenge is actually doing it in practice. When the crunch comes, that they can sit down and work through a, a bipartisan approach to things. And I'm not persuaded of what I saw tonight, that, that it goes much beyond words at this stage. We'll wait and see. But I think they're saying what they think is the right thing rather than what they'll do. Right. Really appreciate, as always, your insight and your time. Thank you for joining us. That is Peter Dunn. Tēnā koe. Tēnā koe.